Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Mercury retrograde. So I've had people in recent times ask me, you know, what, what does it mean in terms of signing contracts, starting jobs, moving home, or even traveling when Mercury's retrograde? So I'm going to talk about that. And um, after this video there well if you want to go to the extended it will be on my patreon so if you'd like to come over and say hi or even join for a short period check it out i'd love to see you there and thank you for the new people that have joined recently um so you'll be able to see on the extended video about uh what it means when mercury is retrograde through a specific house so you can look at your chart and go okay i've got mercury retrograde through my second house this is what it means so that's what i'll be talking about on the extended so for this video i'm just going to talk about general mercury retrograde questions that people ask me so one of the main questions I get asked is, can I sign a contract on Mercury retrograde? Yes, of course. And, you know, here's the thing. You can you can do anything. It doesn't matter in terms of like, you know, I don't ever agree with being fearful about the astrology. You know, it's like you've got to live your life. And, of course, as an astrologer, I do look at these things for myself and I know if something does come up, I've had opportunities come up where I had to sign a contract under a Mercury retrograde and I knew there was going to be some kind of issue with it. And usually there will be some kind of issue, some kind of problem, some kind of, you know, like situation of like something's not quite right. And, you know, you go through those experiences regardless and you learn from them, you know. It doesn't have to be something really bad or really troublesome. It could just be like, okay, well, you know, feeling excited about a new opportunity, but then it only lasts a short time because you signed the contract under a Mercury retrograde. That's a common one. Um or there's something in the contract that just doesn't quite sit right with you and you need to, you know, speak to the person and, and negotiate the situation and that can also be part of Mercury retrograde experience with contracts. Um, if it's a very serious contract, like it's something to do with, you know, wills, inheritances, property, again, just get someone to help you with it. So like a professional, a solicitor or an attorney, what you would call an attorney in the U.S., um, because there can often be things that we um, we don't see ourselves or that if we're stressed, we're, we're not, we're missing a certain detail, you know. With Mercury retrograde, it's really good to, a word that often gets overlooked is preparation, you know, be really prepared and um, be very thorough. That's one thing I would say too. So, um, you know, if, if it's a situation um, we, with like a job situation like, I've had people ask me, can I accept this job? It's Mercury retrograde. Well, yes, of course you can. And you shouldn't let that hold you back. But just know that there might be some issues that come up. And what kind of issues will come up? Well, a typical one that I see is where um, it's like you're, you're told certain things in the interview about the job and then you get there and they're ex expecting more from you that they don't tell you about in the interview or they're expecting you to do other duties that were not outlined in the interview that's a common one other things are where for example it could be something with the hours or like for example you're told this is your boss this is going to be your boss and when you start the job that person just is leaving all of a sudden so it can be weird things like that that are just not quite um aligned properly to what you're expecting you know so that's quite common under a mercury retrograde with starting new jobs or it can be sometimes where you think the job's going to be really long term you're in your mind you're like okay yeah I could see myself working here with these people um I really want to stay in this job but then you get there and it's like something shifts and changes and you you end up going somewhere else or you end up it ends up being only a short term situation for you for whatever reason so you know, that can definitely be the case. I have to say, if you have Mercury retrograde in your natal chart, it can be, um, not always, but it can be better for you with the Mercury retrograde because it's already an energy in your natal chart. So it's kind of comes naturally to you to navigate. So for example, you may, if you have Mercury ret retrograde in your natal chart and you start a job and then, you know, it, you think in your mind it's going to be long term, but then it's temporary. There's going to be something positive that comes out of this situation for you. It's going to be where you're you're happy that it ended quickly because you want to go somewhere else, or you you know something changes, you change your mind as well. That can be the case. Um, also, just another one which I have noticed a lot: if you have anything like um, a breakup situation, or um, yeah, like. Any, any kind of like separation in a relationship, if it happens under a Mercury retrograde, the chances are it's not going to stick. You know, you, you'll probably revisit the connection at a later date. Um, and anything to do with travel, 
with mercury retrograde, just be extra thorough and give yourself more time. So, for example, if you have to travel, make sure you've got plenty of time to pack, to, you know, get to the airport or the train station or wherever you're going. Give yourself time to prepare. And I would really recommend not to rush, not to rush packing or do anything really try and avoid last minute things when mercury's retrograde because there's going to be most likely glitches and issues that come up that being prepared is going to help you to mitigate that kind of stress so um, for example getting to the airport much earlier than you probably normally would because that's going to help with mercury retrograde Um, make sure you don't rush the packing process because you'll most likely forget something like your phone charger or, you know, something important that you need. Um, With mercury retrograde, it's often a thing where you can forget, you know, items, like you can forget your phone, your keys, or you can forget something important. So that's why it's important to slow down in a mercury retrograde and be more thorough than usual or give more, give yourself more preparation time, more lead time. That's what I really recommend. Um, Okay, so, yeah. Uh, what else? If you're moving house, just make sure like you double double check everything, like the date the removalist is arriving, um, the you know, the cleaner and all the things are syncing up and synchronizing properly to the dates that you have because you know, sometimes if it's mercury retrograde, things can be a bit off in terms of timing, people can arrive late, there can be glitches and things like that. So just making that space and preparing. I always feel like with Mercury Retrograde, if you're more prepared, it's much easier to handle. Um, Okay, so those are the, um, oh, and (coughs) excuse me, another thing very commonly known about your Mercury Retrograde is exes coming back, um, ex-friends bumping into people that you have not seen in a long time, very common. If you have, um, like, Oh, it can be one of the situations where you've been thinking about someone and then you like bump into them around the mercury retrograde period or you hear from them, you get a text or an email or something like that. That's quite common. Um, it can be also hearing about a job that you applied for previously that you haven't heard back from in the mercury retrograde period. So that can be positive. Um, and to see what else I, I've written down. Um, oh, that's right. If you're if you're doing anything like with business and you're selling items, just always make sure when it's Mercury retrograde to double check that you've written down, you know, the correct address. Um, you know, even for me when I'm selling jewelry under a Mercury retrograde, I always double check. You know, just confirming this is your address. Have them confirm it, and then make sure when you're writing it down or you're printing it out, it's coming out correctly, or you're re- rewriting it correctly. That kind of thing. Um, anything with uh, you know, shipping that you know, shipping products that can, that can be a Mercury thing because Mercury rules travel, communication, and anything with um, texting. Make sure you're texting the right person, the right message. That's a big one. Um, there can be issues and glitches with phones in particular. So, you know, a lot of people know this. Like, there can be weird things that happen with messages where you you sure you send a text message to one person, but it goes to someone else. I mean, that can definitely happen on Mercury retrograde, especially if it's a Mercury retrograde in Aquarius or Gemini. Um, and it, at the moment, for example, Mercury is retrograde in Taurus. And with Taurus, it's more of an energy of material items, physical items like wallet, keys, vehicles, um, you know, things that you use every day that are your routine material items. Banking can be glitches with banking or weird stuff with banking. Um, but yeah, just to just to sort of, you know, overall say, you know, with Mercury retrograde, it's not that you shouldn't do or live your life how you would normally like if you're going to travel you're going to travel I've traveled on Mercury retrograde um you know it was there were a couple of glitchy things that were very typical Mercury retrograde stuff like the last time I traveled I remember there was a Mercury retrograde and there were I think it was even in an earth sign I think it was in Capricorn off memory and there was an issue with my banking um that the money that I was that I had aside for travel, there was an issue with that. And then luckily I had like cash and another bank account because it's my main one stuffed up. It was a temporary glitch. Didn't, it's never happened before. It just happened when I was traveling. Very odd. And then also there was um, an issue with a bag being left behind with the other person that I was traveling with. They left their bag at the, at the because we were catching like a country train and they left their bag at the train station and we were on the train and they realized they didn't have their bag. And I was like, ah. <gasps> oh my gosh. And it had like their electronics in it. And um, we did get the bag back, but it was like 
a crazy stressful moment trying to signal one of the train staff and make sure that the train didn't leave the platform because you know it was one of those trains where they don't stop very frequently so yeah that was stressful but that's why it's like it's when it's mercury retrograde you need to pay attention more to the details of things and that that's just the main thing that I can tell you to prepare and it shouldn't stop you from living your life but it should definitely be something where you need to double check so like for example just to go back to the job one for a second what what you should do in that situation is make sure you ask enough questions in an interview and you, you know you, you know what to expect that if, if you sit there and you're not asking enough questions, you're more likely to be unpleasantly surprised by weird things on the job when you arrive or changes that you just, they didn't clarify for you because they just didn't mention it, you know, um, things like that. So it is, a, it is a planet of communication. It does go retrograde, retrograde usually around three times per year. And um, it is an, it is known to be where communication can be confusing or a bit off or strange things can happen with technology, <laughs> bugs with technology, all that sort of stuff, especially if it's in air signs. It's even more pronounced with the communication and technology stuff. If it's in an earth sign, it's going to be more to do with your material items, your um you know, your money, um, banking issues with work or payment issues, things like that can happen. Um, or you can receive money back, you know, when it's Mercury retrograde, something comes back to you. If it's in like Libra or um, uh, Libra or Taurus as well, it can be, you know, relationship related more so, or if it's in one of those houses as well. But I'll talk more about the houses in the extended video. But if you have any questions, just post them below. I just thought I'd make this video because I've had a few people ask me these types of questions. And um, yeah, like I said, go to my Patreon for more uh, videos and exclusive content and the extended to this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.